back everyone, Crothal is here and we're going to go ahead and tackle UCE Attache today. So let's go ahead and get import in. And import. Alright. So let's get that readme open. Okay, so there's no core changes or anything we need to do here, no installation instructions. So, this is a good go, ready to use. So, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to set up a, a prefab to utilize it. So, we're going to go to our prefabs and entities, monsters, and we're going to set it on our skeleton that's afraid. And just double click that and open it up. And now, in here, let's go ahead and on the monster script find the attachy. So, it's right at the top. And we're just going to expand and attach a child and make that a one. And then we'll have a new section here um, under child game objects. We're going to go ahead and make that a one and we're going to attach what's going to spawn. So it can be anything. You can even have it be a damage effect or anything of that nature. We're going to make it spawn another skeleton that's not afraid to defend the one that is. And we're going to tell it to auto spawn it. And then. You can have it either with the auto unspawn. What's going to happen is if the monster dies, uh, like the afraid one here dies, it'll automatically unspawn this ad if you don't want it to stay out. If you want it to stay out, then you can check this and it'll get rid of it when that happens. Um, uncheck it if you don't want it to, if you want to stay and fight. If you want it so they have to kill it but they can't loot it, it'll un you can check this one, it'll unspawn once they kill it. Now we gotta set a point where it's gonna respawn. I'm just going, or when it's gonna spawn out. I'm just gonna put the skeleton itself. Now you could create like a, let's say you want it to spawn, here, let's do this. Let's say you want it to spawn to the right of the monster. So we're gonna go like put this in, we're just gonna put attachy spawn or attachy mount, because let's keep it to the same naming. And you can see it's on the skeleton right here. We're just gonna move it over to the right of them a little bit and he'll spawn here. So then we'll go back to the skeleton under attachy and put that attach point right there. Then you have some conditions. So if this just is on auto spawn, it's gonna spawn as soon as this thing gets initiated into combat. If you don't want that, you can hit one in here and we can set some parameters. So like we have a threshold here and this is for the parent's health. Um, so if this skeleton gets under 75% of its hit points, I want this skeleton to spawn. And you can have it do a uh, the skeleton come with a buff on it. You could have it equipped with a certain item, it's a certain inventory item, um, so on. And then I just want this child's action to be spawn. So it's going to get spawned in when this parameter is met. And then we'll go ahead and just collapse all these, save, and we'll back out. And now let's go ahead and give it a test. Get in our game. We don't have a weapon on, so we probably should do that. So we'll put a sword on. All right, let's go down here and attack our frayed skeleton from before. And get him under 75%, and there's friend spawned in. And I'm not close enough apparently to trigger it. <clears throat> so now he's attacking me while his friend runs away. And there's nothing I can do, so we're going to kill the one that's attacking me. And since we don't have it unspawn, you can loot it just like normal. And now the afraid one's still way over here, so we can go and kill this one. Like so, then we can loot that one as well. So this is good for using for boss mechanics to special spell effects you want to happen, traps, anything of that nature. So you can really, really, you know, the sky's the limit. You decide how you want to actually make this work and you can make it happen. So that's it for Atachi, so I'll catch you in the next one.